Hare Krishna and welcome to ISKCON News in a Minute. I'm Ajita Das and here are today's headlines. On September 7th, ISKCON's Governing Body Commission released its final decision regarding the 30-year-old case on the status of Lokna Swami in ISKCON. Their final decision is that his status as initiating guru continues. The decision, however, is threefold. Firstly, the panel created in 2021 to decide on the proper handling of the case decided against ever reopening the case or sending it to the Child Protection Office for re-examination. Secondly, the GBC decided that any regional ISKCON body of the world can restrict him from traveling to their region and initiating. The North American RGB has already made that decision. Additionally, the Padyatra and Kirtan ministry positions he held have been replaced by other persons. He will not sit on the GBC in any capacity. But to be clear, he was never a voting GBC member in the past. Thirdly, a new proactive resolution by the GBC, created in tandem with this decision, further ends any future cases of this nature from going through the GBC directly and instead must go through the properly created agencies in ISKCON for dealing with abuse and abuse of power that is Child Protection Office, Prevention of Leadership Misconduct Office, and the ISKCON Sannyasa Ministry. The Bhaktivedanta Manor in the United Kingdom offered their prayers and condolences for the recent passing of Queen Elizabeth II. The Queen had taken part in many of our programs in the United Kingdom. She was appreciative of our effort in terms of education and social service. Many devotees came in contact with the Queen during her lifetime, and she was always known for being polite, and respectful. Thank you for watching. Follow ISKCON News on all social media pages to stay updated with all the breaking news and to find out how you can help. Hare Krishna.